Hi. Stop. Kung Fu. Shake hands. What's up, buddy? What are we doing here? I, I don't like dancing, man. Hello, Matt. Slap. <laughs> That's right. Today is a great day because I received something in the mail. Today, something in the mail arrived. I was actually really, really excited for it because um, virtual reality finally became cableless. No system needed. I mean, reality doesn't believe in the impossible. It doesn't believe in moving without limits or breaking the laws of physics. Reality will never let you enter magical realms. Will never let you stop time or wield a lightsaber. But that doesn't mean you can't. You can have more than one body. You can have more than one world to explore. Because reality is yours to defy. Today is the day that I'm going to test it out. That's right. I've got the time. So what is in the box? We got the headset, we got the controllers, touch controllers of course, uh, a charging cable and an adapter. Uh, this is a really uh, easy go-to headset that you can take with you towards family or friends to let them try out. No system needed, you just have the headset and the controllers and that's it. I know a lot of people back in the days uh, had a big problem with VR, uh, really wanted to try it out but didn't have the money to, to try it out. So in my experience, a lot of people, uh, when Oculus Rift came out before, uh, were very excited and thought only to buy the headset and that they could play VR. Uh, some people found out after that you needed a beefy system for it, with the price mark around like a thousand or two thousand dollars, and they instantly got scared away. Not everybody uh, has the money to buy a computer system and the headset together. So Oculus uh, brainstormed about this, of course, and they came up with the Oculus Quest. And this is actually a really good first step for people that want to try VR. Because you're paying $399 now, and that's it. You don't need anything else. Now try... Now try pressing all of the glowing buttons with your thumbs. Bo try bo moving the thumbsticks around. The thumbsticks can also be pressed like buttons. Press them in until you feel them click. Next, use your index fingers to squeeze the triggers on your controllers. Locate the grip buttons and squeeze them with your middle fingers. The controls of the Oculus are so good, it's crazy. Now let's see what your virtual hands can do. To make a fist, squeeze the grip with your middle finger and hold it down. To point, keep squeezing the grip and just lift your index finger. Now use your index finger to push the button in front of you. To pick up an object, squeeze and hold the grip button with your middle finger. Try reaching out and grabbing one of these blocks. Release the grip button to drop it. 
Your virtual <laughs> hands can do just about anything. Yo, Go this ahead, is dope. play with some of these items. What the? Oh shit! Whatever. Mm. Great. Looks I'm like quite... you're getting the hang of it. Yeah. Here's a few more to try. I can fly this thing. Yo, this is super dope. Hmm. Right. Oh shit. When you're ready to explore some new VR worlds, insert a cartridge into the console. Mm. Oh my god, I'm really impressed by the resolution as well. It's crazy. Uh, what, it, what am I supposed to do here? Oh shit, I need to... Oh, it's electricity! That's right. One. Hey there, Matt! <laughs> Alright. Stop. Kung Fu, shake hands. What's up, buddy? What are we doing here? I, I don't like dancing, man. back again uh, after playing with the oculus quest and honestly i am super duper impressed with the resolution first of all 
um, the sound that is coming out of the straps it's crazy because it's like super small uh, but it's really fine-tuned the sound uh, quality is very good you shouldn't expect very loud sounds of course uh, it's more when you're like in a quiet room um, and you still want to um, hear other things like if somebody uh, asks for you to come downstairs or whatever honestly to just put like a, a headset on or um, earpieces would be a better thing uh, because then you will be fully immersed I think audio is very important with virtual reality uh, but it's still a nice addition um, to the headset tracking was on par with everything we tried the little demo as you guys saw with the dancing and everything and I absolutely loved it if you're interested in recording on the oculus however as well um, it's very simple you just press the menu button you go to share and then underneath share you have recording this will make the headset record everything you're doing in virtual reality uh, towards the internal storage however you need to connect the oculus quest afterwards on your pc or on your macbook or whatever uh, to upload the content so you can edit it afterwards resolution perfect sounds are good tracking is perfect um, there's not not anything actually that is coming up to me right now that i find very negative about this headset the only thing that I can imagine that people will find negative about this headset is, is that it will not have the same quality as for example the Oculus Rift or uh, any other VR headset that is uh, combined with a PC. But then again you can't compare them together because this is a standalone headset. This is one of the first standalone headsets out there right now. There's no way you can compare it to anything else. So all in all, if you're interested and you're a little bit afraid of like maybe resolution wise whatsoever or the experience of VR I'm a veteran in this uh, I started it out from the beginning you guys can honestly trust me in the fact that this is cool like I really enjoyed the VR experience I really did I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like that's right uh, subscribe to my channel if you didn't already be shit that's right and I'll catch you guys on the flip side bye Mats.